Right, I've just got into the woods. I'm going to do my lunch on the triangle, Tranger Triangle. But as always, where I live, it's a giant hill. So I'm going up a big hill. There's two routes. One goes directly up there. The other one sort of slants off, which isn't as steep. There's a sign saying you'll be prosecuted if you take this path. It's a big path, so we'll see how that goes. So I'm climbing up the path. I probably won't go too far. I'll just find somewhere to sit down, a nice log. And then we'll get into the Trianga. Trianga I'm knackered. I mean, they come up a little bit. The Triangia Triangle. Oh. I keep on going up a bit. There's a level way there, but I'm going to see what I can find. I can see a tree up there, a log but I can see it from here, so anyone else that comes up here is going to see me up there. But we'll see when I get there. It might not be suitable. It's not so bad, to be honest. It's just that I'm useless. My phone constantly says, be more active. So I'm trying. What a lovely wood. A shame about all these hills, but I think the hills keep people out. If there wasn't this many hills around here, I feel like there'd be a lot more people in these woods. A lot of woods in this area though, to be honest. We live in the Greenbelt, Chilton Hills, and it's a fantastic area. Lots and lots of trees, woodland, wildlife. So, it's a privilege to live here. Right, I'm right on the path track, the main track, but I found a log. I've sat on it. It hasn't collapsed like they do normally when I sit on them, which has happened lots of times. Right. This is my log. I'm happy with it. So let's start getting the gear out, getting some cooking going. I've got a nice um, fork in this log. I think I can get my cooker on, it'd be lovely. So it does show a little walking about, looking for places. You'll find something eventually. This is a, a really nice spot actually for the fact that I'll be able to cook on it. It's on a hill, but I've got places to rest stuff so it's not going to fall and roll away. So it should be pretty good. I'm gonna try something different today. Usually when I cook something, like I'm doing chili con carne, I'd add the rice to it, because I've only got one cooker and I wouldn't be able to cook it up. But today, I'm gonna to boil some water, cook this up so it's warm, drain the water, and then add the chili con carne and just heat it up. See how that goes. Got a rubbish bag, she always have a rubbish bag. Right then, let's open up our, turn you down a bit. Got the zebra lunchbox, 14 centimetre. In here I've got the cooker, the Trangier. My friend brought me back this from New Zealand. It's a um, fire striker. Cheers, Jay. Appreciate that. Always carry a backup. So we have the triangle in there. 
There's a little tip I'd like to show you about this triangle. Anyone that's got one, I'm thinking of getting one. I saw it on YouTube myself. I can't tell you who it was because I can't remember, but it was a little tip. So we're going to build it up. It just slots into itself. So you create the triangle and then this piece slots inside. I found the easiest way to get it in is to put it in one Try and hold it in that one and then push it down and it'll just click. Let's do that again so you can see it. The easiest way to put this in is to put it into one, put your thumb on it, put your finger under it so you're holding it, then just press it down and it'll click straight into the other ones. Right, the burner goes in there, if you don't know about this. And your pan will go on there. But the tip I've got for you is if you want to use a cup on it because you only want to boil a bit of water for a tea it's too small and it won't fit on there so it sits into it which is not really you can't cook like that it snuff the um, flame so this is a tip I saw how to get around that using the same trangier what you have to do is take your burner out Take your middle out, place your thing back down, burner goes in the middle on the ground or whatever you're actually on, then place this on the top, then your cup will sit on there and it'll stay on there, it's perfect, it's a cup holder. So that's a little tip if you've got a smaller cup or something you want to put on this that ain't going to fit over the triangle and this works fine, I've done it many a times. But we're not going to do that today. We're going to do a. I'll make a drink, but I'm going to use boil the water inside my pot, my zebra. So let's put this back in. I'm going to top up this because there's no fuel in it. tilt you down a bit I keep on thinking I've pressed the button I haven't though well, if you haven't got one of these they're really good you just press that button in and it will release the fuel as you see there's nothing coming out now press the button it's a safe way to dispense your fuel out and it's a safe carrying bottle. I only ever fill up to the um, outer jacket. I never go above the outer jacket on the level. I just That's how I always fill them. Let's try this fire steel striker, see if we can get that to work. Just gonna move some stuff because it's gonna start falling down soon. There we go. We are lit. It was fresh, I hadn't used it, so I had to scrape some of the black off. I'll go back in the pocket. Always put your kit away, because if you put it down, you might lose it. I've done it before, it goes back in the pocket. Right, we've got to let that bloom out, because if we don't let it bloom, it'll go out when I put the pan on it. I 
a cup full. So the best, best way to do that is measure a cup, not put it in there. Because I'm making my drink first. Right, we've got the lower angle on the camera, facing the other way now for the cooker. Let's try and get you in there a bit more. I've brought a windshield out, but to be honest, there's very little wind, so there's just no need for it. It would help probably slightly, but I say this is a big pot over that flame, and it, it boils quick anyway. All I want to do is get some temperature in this water, get the rice in it, then we'll add the, the chili con carne after. What have we got here? A little visitor. Didn't see you coming along. Have a look at this little guy. Hello. Are you going to try and steal my food? Hey. Take a photo of you, I think. Let's put you back where you should be. Sounds like we've got a boil, so that's going to have to be done first. Started to boil, so I think I'm ready to put this in. Don't want to... Careful now where, ow, where I put this, because I might end up burning Mr. Caterpillar's head off. Oh, yes. Probably too much water in there. I've got a bag for the rubbish, so that can go over there for now. Spoon. I'm going to start stirring. Let me take a photo of Mr. Caterpillar. That's got to be done. Guaranteed. Or oh, is he a hairy farmer? I don't know. Hello, my little furry friend. I don't want to touch you, because you will prickle me and leave stingers on me. Mr. Caterpillar. You're trying to spell my name by making shapes. Cutting shapes, eh? Let's get that spoon and start doing some stirring. Leave that caterpillar alone. It's well camouflaged, eh? The simmering will go on, I think, when I put that chilli in. Um, quad bike coming now. Must be one of the landowners. I'll probably get told to clear off. Well, he's either going to come and have a word or we don't give a toss. But I need to get that simmer on, whatever, because if I have to snuff it, because he might not like the fire but it is contained. Caterpillar's coming for me again. It's all go here, I can tell you. I'm gonna probably put the snuffer on at about that sort of opening. I mean, that's boiling, so that's done anyway. Now I've got to get the snuffer on, that's the problem. Let's get this pan off and down somewhere. Try and get this snuffing ring on by hand. There we go. Right then. Let's turn the camera so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to try and drain this water out. You've got to remember this is still boiling, so when I tip it, it's going to burn my fingers, so I need to hold the lid top. I 
I would drain it closer to the camera, but I don't want it right next to where I'm sitting. Let's see how much we got left. Yeah, still need a bit more out of that. Right and well. The old triangle trangier is still going well with the snuffer on, it's just settled it to simmer. Don't want to take all the water out, because if I take it all out, we're gonna get burning. Where's Caterpillar? I don't want to drop this on his head. Dunno where he's gone actually. Get you back around. I'll put it down over there. I need two sticks so I can close this snuffer and snuff this out. There's one. <coughs> two. There's two. That's out. Now we'll leave it to cool. Right, caterpillar's eyeballing me. Let's get the camera set up differently. I should have brought some bread out. I didn't. I forgot. Well, there it is. A cooked meal. And it's very nice and it's warm. We had some escapades with the caterpillar. It's still eyeballing me from over there. Well, I can't see more than one. That thing can move, I tell you. Yes, mate. I'm not touching you, but you can't be the same one. How did you get over there? I've got to check the bag now, haven't I? Put my hand in there and grab one of them. Damn. All right, mate, you're not going in. I did an overnight once on just the ground sheet in a sleeping bag. And that was it. I woke up and found one of them next to me. I didn't want to touch it. Well, I'm going to finish this. Let that cool down. Get on my coffee, actually, in a second, because that must have cooled down pack away, make sure I haven't got any caterpillars in my bag, where that was trying to get, and then I'll be off. Down the big hill, I came up. So thanks for watching. If you haven't been out, get out. Make yourself a nice bit of lunch in the woods. Until next time. Thanks for watching. I need a beat.